God, that's a big difference. We do not recommend this. This is only for race car purposes and a bit of fun. That's all that it's for. So we're continuing our series on our 300 series and in this video we're going to be putting a set of injectors in this car to add a bit more fuel and allow that nitrous to really come alive and work. Now again, this is just a test to see how far or if we can find the limitations of this particular engine. It's something that I've been looking for a long time and I think it's about time that we really see the pure potential of this engine and what it can actually handle. So just to recap on last video, we actually made 512 horsepower with a bit of nitrous and the stock components. We only had our multi-mapping in the car with an exhaust and intake and airbox on this car. These components are all that's been added to this engine. Nothing has been touched in the engine as far as extra boost levels go, or as far as bigger turbochargers or any bigger injectors or pumps. Nothing more has been added. This is all tuning and a bit of nitrous added to it. So now we're gonna add some fuel and really see where we can push this thing to. What I wanted to do first up before we start going into putting the bigger injectors into the 300 series, I wanted to explain just briefly to you guys about what it is that the injector does and what we're going to do to the injector to be able to get more fuel into the engine to allow more power. What we have here is the injector itself out of a Hilux. And I just wanted to pull this nozzle off and just give you guys a quick explanation into what this is. So as you can see here, the injector nozzle itself and then we've got the pintle inside there so that's just a nozzle so that's just a stock nozzle and we will be replacing that nozzle that has larger holes in it that allows more fuel out of it there's a whole nother episode to be done on injectors and how to get more out of them and and there's so many videos out there and there's so many different types and it does make a huge difference to be able to getting the right set of injectors work in your car um, being and getting them all balanced correctly and flowing the same amount uh, there's a fine art to it so it really is something that's not taken lightly it's, it's a lot of work and time and there's definitely some big players out there that have done a lot with injectors to make a huge difference let's get these injectors in this car let's get it fired up let's get it tuned and then we'll put it on the dyno and we'll run our nitrous in it and we'll see what numbers it makes. So we're back here in the Just Auto's R&D hub and we have the 300 series once again bolted on the dyno. It made over 500 horsepower and it worked really well, but it was getting to the end where more nitrous wasn't adding in a hell of a lot more power considering the size we were increasing. And that is because we get our energy from the fuel, not the nitrous. Nitrous definitely helps complete that burn and adds to the, the energy there, but the energy source all comes from fuel. So we need more fuel. And that's what we're doing today. We're putting more fuel in. We have upgraded the injectors in this car. So far, the injectors in this car are what we call a DC30, Diesel Central up in Gracemere. Um, we're kind enough to donate these injectors to us to do some testing on. Now, I haven't tested this car on the dyno to see what sort of power it's made. I've only done a lot of this testing on the road and definitely pants on seat feeling that the car has definitely got more power. I can see on the combustion analyzer my cylinder pressure as well as the power that's making through that. And that's the only indication I have that I know we are making more power. Obviously putting larger injectors into a diesel, we have a certain window of timing that we can allocate and put fuel into. By using a larger injector, you get a larger volume of fuel in that window, which means more power. So what I wanted to do today is run up on the dyno, we'll have a look at what the uh, combustion analyzer is saying and also what the power is doing now with these bigger injectors. And if we get to closely a, a number where I think it's pretty much on point with the timing and everything else, then maybe we'll spray the gas again and see if we can make a little bit more power. There should be, I'd reckon, around 40 to 50 horsepower gain by having these injectors in this combo at the moment. You've got to remember, that's nothing else changed. We're just changing injectors and retuning that to suit. So get it warmed up we'll get it loaded up and uh yeah we will see what the numbers are then we can start to analyze the data okay so we're just going to talk about some of the data that we're extracting from the car we have a lot going on here we have pca plex 2000 plus which is a combustion analyzer we have the glow plugs that are removed out of this engine and pressure sensors that are put in that gives us a really good understanding of the cylinder pressure and the event in the burn that's happening in the cylinder in real time and it's really crucial to know this information because it allows us to maximize and take advantage of our timing to get it uh, exactly right for this engine and that's something that's really crucial so much so that's how the OEM manufacturers use. Uh, they use um, cylinder pressure to understand what that is. We also have coming back in the car, we've got just some um, dyno stuff. So we're obviously measuring boost pressure there as an external PID. Um, we also have EasyTune hooked up uh, as well, where we're data logging all 
306 pids out of this ECU, so a whole lot of range of stuff that's coming out there. We also have a MoTeC dash over the side there that has a whole lot of external sensors plugged in as well, which is to do with our sum, and also pressure. We've got gearbox pressure sensors and a whole lot of range of stuff there that we have on the car as well. So we have a lot of data coming out of this car extracting. When we do a run, it's really good to sit back and have a look at all that data and analyze it. And that's how you understand about if you're taking the right step forward or back when you do a change or you make something, um, you get a really good impression of what that's doing in real time. Let's warm the car up, get it sorted. As you can see, that little green cable, that's our new hardware for EasyTune. So that's an OBD hardware that's all plugged in, that's suitable um, for all of our models of Tortoise. That's something that uh, you guys at home will still be able to get. All right, so we just did a run on Tune 4. So it's pulled back in line to where we have, and we're making roughly the sort of same power. It's 406 horsepower is where it's at the moment. So this is running everything around where we had it before. Uh, now we're gonna switch over to the large maps and run a lot more boost and a lot more fuel. And we'll see where that number then takes us. So far, everything looks pretty good. All right, so pretty interesting. I said 40 horsepower, and we got roughly 41 horsepower more than uh, what we had just by doing the injectors, recalibrating them, having the fueling, the timing brought back into space, getting all that fueling at the right time. Um, this is still running the same factory rail pressure. We actually run a slightly less than factory on the rail pressure, um, but that's another conversation of why we do that. So having a look through here, uh, these are the two runs I've got highlighted at the moment. This is before um, and after. We've got a 407 is the first run we did, which was the maximum power we made. That was in our high map, map five, and running through um, very similar boost. Um, that's running around 38 pounds in that particular run. Um, and that was the power that we ended up with there. This is back to back, putting injectors in, scaling it, getting it tuned, suited with the fueling wise, changing the timing to suit, and then we ended up with 448 in that area. So you can see massive gain in the bottom. If we're just bringing up some of the torque, um, you can see here now off the bottom of the hit, you know, we've got another, 110 newton meters straight off the bottom and you can see all the way through the rev range we have picked up um, a considerable amount straight over that it's probably close to i'd say nearly 20 odd percent um, all the way through so the injectors have definitely netted a small power everywhere when we put our nitrous one up uh, you can see the difference here the nitrous obviously we're bringing on the run the nitrous very late i don't want to squeeze it in early this is not a progressive kit it comes in all at once and we've got nearly a 200 shot of nitrous coming into this car it only netted us around that 510 horsepower so we should technically get that plus what we've got and hopefully it'll get us in mid 500 area if we do a run so i thought hey the car's here we've got the nitrous bottle so we're going to warm it up in the sun put it on the car and we can see how much more torque we can get by um, adding that nitrous in there and that'll give us a rough idea where we go from there. So back in the car, got the nitrous bottle back on. Um, we've got the pressure up in the bottle, so we're in the green, so it's good. So we should have enough for a couple more runs here. Um, yeah, with the injectors, we got 448 horsepower. So before we got 515 horsepower, I think it was, with the nitrous. So hopefully we get closer to adding that 40 horsepower on top and get that mid 500s. Um, again, this is just for a bit of fun. Um, we'll go through and run it up and see what goes on. All right, so 575. So it was pretty much added our 40 horsepower with the injector on top it's looking pretty good. So we'll go analyze the data and, and have a look and see the difference. God, that's a big difference. Green run, that was our run we did before with the bigger injectors in. Um, same, similar tune, just scaled injectors. 448 horsepower is what it did. Then we've done our nitrous on top of that, uh, where before we were running around uh, nitrous of 510 horsepower. Now we've managed to get 575 horsepower out of it. And as you can see, we hit the nitrous here quite late in the rev range and bring it on over the top end there. Um, you can see the torque is now around that just over 1150 newton meters, uh, around that 3100 RPM. 
massive amounts of gains there. Um, obviously, this is a bit of fun. And again, I say that is because we don't sell Nitrous Kit for 300 series. We don't endorse this for every day. This is us just understanding how far we can push the factory motor and the factory form and see what goes on. But let's have a look back down and get a little bit more realistic where the numbers are, where everyone uh, would be driving their vehicle to see the difference, to say, hey, I come and get a Just Autos package at one of our distributors or at us, and seeing what I'll be leaving with and comparing it to where we are right now currently in this car. All right, so this really puts things into perspective when you can see the standard power that the car makes on this hub dyno. Now, obviously, it's in rear wheel drive on a hub dyno. There's no front wheel drive, but I'm not caring about the losses between that because where we start and where we finish, we're measuring the distance between. And as you can see on this dyno, this car particularly makes in factory form 249 horsepower and around that 500 and nine newton meters. So that gives you an understanding of the power that the car makes in factory form. We're looking at the most we made, which is 575 horsepower. And as you can see, our torque went up to 1150, which is about 120% gain overall in torque and around 130% gain in power from stock where we were 246 horsepower to 575 horsepower. So what we're gonna do is just take off the nitrous run and let's just compare back to um, what this car particularly leaves in when it comes to package. So it's around that 246 horsepower still, so the stock power run there, you can see we've got an increase overall the rev range, and this is what we call in tune five, which is the larger tune um, that the car leaves in. Um, at that point, we've got timing and boost pressure and everything else there on point. So obviously 249 to 397, um, that is part of the package three that the customers leave with that sort of gain in power. Uh, it's, it's a massive number and it represents exactly what these engines can do. There's a lot of theories around these engines being quite weak and that they blow up and they're this and they're that. I think if you put any engine in the circumstances that some of these engines have been put in, they will definitely fail on you no matter what the engine is. Uh, however, I wanted to do this test today to showcase really what this particular engine can do and that it's not gonna fly apart going down the road. Obviously, yes, we're just doing a few hits on the dyno. We've got some extreme load on there and a lot of fuel and a lot of nitrous. And I don't think there'll be anyone particularly in this well that has done this amount of modifications to a 300 series and tuned it to that level at this point in time. What's really impressive is the team of people that help us create these products and do the R&D and understand that you can come in and get a stage three package and leave with nearly 400 horsepower and those components do the job. But then we've taken it to the 575 horsepower and those components are still working very well. So this shows that those products are reliable at multiple power levels. All right, so the 300 series engine is still alive. It's running, it's, it survived the torture test that we've put it through so far. 575 horsepower with nitrous is definitely a massive number for a stock engine. However, we need to carry on with some other testing and that testing will be our fuel consumption testing as well as our sumps. So we're gonna get the car off the dyno, get it on the road and start to do some trailing and also some towing with that to really understand what the fuel consumption will do with an OEM tune in the car as well as the Just Autos tune. Uh, and then we can also analyze the data with the sump, uh, with the stock sump and the sump increase that we'll go to. So we'll continue to torture test the 300 series. So stay tuned until next time.